All right, so in the last video, we ended on this problem. Shara spent $105 on school supplies for her kids, consisting of three backpacks and 15 notebooks. Notebooks cost $2 each. How much did each backpack cost? Uh, we ended on this problem, and I encouraged you to try it on your own. Now we're going to go over the actual solution. And what is an algebraic way to solve for the missing information? So like always, you want to take note of the fact of what's given to you. You're given the total she spent. You're given how many backpacks and how many notebooks. She bought. And you are given how much the notebooks cost. And ultimately, you are trying to figure out what you want is how much each backpack costs. So you could have tried a couple of strategies for this. So you know that she bought three backpacks. There's a backpack. Here's another backpack. And here's another backpack. And they each cost something. We don't know what the cost is, so we can represent that with a variable. Let's say B. So it costs B dollars, B dollars, and B dollars. So they're all in all, there are three backpacks, each costing B dollars. She also bought 15 notebooks. each costing $2. So this is two, 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 and so on. And in total, she spent $105. So whatever she spent on the backpacks and whatever she spent on the notebooks is equal to $105. Now we know she spent three of whatever the backpack costs. And we also know that she spent $2 per notebook and she spent it on 15 notebooks. So she spent $2 for 15 notebooks or two times 15. If we were to add this up, there are three Bs, right? Three B. So she spent three of whatever B dollars is, <clears throat> and then $30 total on the notebook. Together, her school supplies all cost $105. So now, maybe you could try your methods that we talked about in the previous video. Maybe you could use guess and check. So let's just try uh, guessing that maybe the backpacks each cost $50, okay? So my guess is the backpacks cost $50. E equals 50. So if I were to try that, 3 times 50, let's see if it actually equals 105. So 3 times 50 is 150, plus 30 equals 105. Well, 180 is not equal to 105, so for sure, B is not 50 and should be smaller than 50, right? This was too much. So let's try a different price for the backpack. Let's try B equals 30. So three backpacks each costing $30 plus the $30 for the notebooks. So three times 30 is 90 plus 30. Now, this is a little closer, but it's still too much, right? $120 is way more than $105. So we can try something else. <clears throat> Maybe we can try 
25. So 3 times 25 plus 30. See if that actually equals to 105. 75 plus 30. And if we do the math, 75 plus 30 is indeed 105. So each, using our guess and check, we figured out that each backpack costs $25. Now, this method worked, right? We found out how much each backpack costs, but it took a little while. I had to guess three different numbers until I finally got, well, yeah, I, I guessed incorrectly twice before I finally got the correct answer. So we don't wanna be spending all our time guessing and checking. I think this is a good way to see if your final solution is correct, but ultimately we want a more efficient method of actually solving for our unknown variable. So algebraically, we can solve for our unknown variable by using our inverse operation. So let's go through how to actually do this. So we had an equation, 3b plus 30 equals 105. Three of the backpacks plus the $30 spent on notebooks equaled the $105 she said she spent on supplies. To solve for b, let's think a little bit about this. We know that she spent some money on the backpacks, okay? If we think about it, the money she spent on the backpack is equal to $105 minus the $30 she spent on notebooks, right? She spent 30 of the $105 on notebooks, so whatever is left of that is what she spent on the backpack. So the money she spent on the backpacks is equal to, let me erase this, $105 minus $30, which is $75. Now, that $75 is for all three backpacks. We just want to know how much one backpack costs. So to find out how much one backpack costs, each the so one backpack, we have to take our $75 and divide it by three because we spent it on three backpacks. And each backpack costs the same, presumably. So each backpack is a third of the $75, which is, seven, is 75 divided by 3, which is $25. So what we actually did was we undid the equation to get B by itself. First, we subtracted the 30. Because we know, oh, well, the 30 doesn't count. That's for the notebooks, right? So whatever's left over, that's what's for the backpack. Then, once we figure that out, well, there are three backpacks. We have to divide by three to know how much is each one backpack. So what we did was we undid everything we, we, um, we set up in our equation to just get B by itself. So algebraically, you can see this happen with our equation, 3, 3B plus 30 equals 105. First, we subtracted by 30. And 30 minus 30 is just 0. So there's nothing left here except for 3B. 105 minus 30 is 75. And then we divided our 75 by 3. 3 divided by 3 is just 1. So we're left with 1B, one backpack, 
is equal to 25. We don't, we can leave the one there, but usually we don't. We know that B is just one B, like there's only one B there. So one B is just the same as writing B and it is equal to 25. So in order to get the original value we wanted, it's like we went in reverse. We worked backwards from what we had. We knew that she had spent $100 total, and we knew that she had spent $30 on the notebooks, and she had spent money on three backups. We kind of worked backwards from that to get the original value we wanted, which is how much is each backup. That's how you solve a one-step equation, or this is how you solve a very, uh, an equation with a variable in it. You undo what's going on in your equation to get your variable by itself. So I'm going to show you another example, and then hopefully you can try one of your own. So here is another word problem that you can set up as an algebraic equation with a variable. If the perimeter of a rectangle is 18 inches and one side is one inch longer than the other, how long are the sides? So don't panic. I know it's slightly different, right? This is now about a shape, so a little bit of geometry involved, but the concepts are the same. You are given some piece of information and you want an unknown value. So you are given a few things. You are given that the perimeter is 18 inches and it is a rectangle. And one side is one inch longer than the other side. So for example, you have this rectangle, maybe one of the sides is three inches, the other side has to be one more than that, so it's four inches. Now, the perimeter of a rectangle is the length of all of the sides added together, okay? So if we were, let's say we were to find the perimeter of this rectangle, it would be four plus three plus four plus three inches, oops. And the total perimeter would be 7, 11, 14 inches. Now, obviously, this is not this rectangle because the perimeter of the rectangle we want is 18 inches. So again, you can use guess and check to figure this out, right? You could try different lengths. You could do 4 and 5, 6 and 7, 1 and 2. But that takes a while to test out all of the possible side lengths. So what we can do is set up an equation to help us. So we know we have a rectangle. And it has two sides. But we don't know the lengths of those sides. So we could represent them with a variable. Let's say we represent the variable, the width as W and the length as L. Width equals W and length equals L. We know that the perimeter of this rectangle are all of the sides added together. Okay, so we know that the perimeter is the length plus the width plus the length plus the width. I just added up these four sides. So right now, it turns out we have two L's, right? Two L's and two W's. There are two lengths and two widths. Now, we do know something about the width. We know that it is the length plus one inch, right? The problem gave us that. So we know that width is actually L plus one. 
So wherever there's a W, we can replace it with L plus 1 because the width is the length plus 1 inch. So where wherever there is a W, we can replace it with length plus 1. Okay, so this is L plus 1, and this is L plus 1. So there's two of them. And now we know one last thing, which is that the perimeter is 18. That is given to us. So using the method that we learned, we can now solve for L. The first thing you want to do is simplify this equation by combining like. So we see quite a bit of L's. We see there's something here that can be distributed. So we're going to simplify the equation first. Okay. So we have our 18, two lengths plus two of the widths, which is just length plus one. To simplify it, we can go ahead and distribute our two. There's two lengths plus one. So we get 2L. 2 times L is L, 2L. And 2 times 1 is 2. And then we can combine like terms. So there's a 2L and a 2L. How many lengths are there? 4. So 4L plus 2. Now that we have simplified our equation, we can isolate our variable by undoing everything that's being done to it. So don't lose sight of what's going on here. You know that whatever the perimeter is, right, or the, the perimeter 18 is totaled whenever you add these four things together. So the four lengths together plus the two inches from the width make 18. So what we're really trying to figure out is, well, okay, we know that there's two inches that are part of the perimeter just because the width is, each width is one inch more than the length. So there's two inches that come from the width. So really the lengths are the 18 minus the two inches from the width. So 2 minus 2 is 0, so that's canceled out. And on the left side here, we have 16 equals 4L. Now we're saying if we added all of the lengths together, so the two lengths, oh, sorry. The two lengths plus the length from the width and the length of the width, these four would total 16. So to find out how much one of them is, we have to divide by four, because there's four of them. So four divided by four just simplifies to one. And 16 divided by four just simplifies to four. So the length is four inches. But we're not finished. We have to figure out the width as well. But that's pretty simple. The problem told us that the width is one inch more than the length. So our width is five inches. Okay, so these should be the dimensions of our rectangle. To test if that's right, we can just do a quick check. Here's a rectangle. Let's say this is four inches. And this is five inches, four inches. So it checks out, right? Our width is one more than the length. And then together, the perimeter has to be 18. So let's add them together. And indeed, we get five plus five is 10, plus four, 14, plus another four is 18 inches. So our solution checks out. We got a length that is four inches. We got a width that is one inch more than that. And 
when we added up all of these sides together, we got the perimeter 18 inches. So instead of guessing and checking, you can now set up your equation and undo what's happening to your variable and solving for it. So I know this may seem like a lot, but again, with practice, as it hopefully it's not super complicated and you're just making sure you want to be careful in your setup and in your solving for your final variable all the time not losing of what you're the not losing sight of what you're trying to do right these numbers mean something they're not just random numbers we're trying to figure out the dimensions of this rectangle given the conditions provided by the problem so always think about how the equation you're solving is in line with the original problem. So um, I'm asking you to try this on your own now. I'm going to give you some practice equation problems. So I'm just going to give you some equations to solve for the variable. And then I'm also going to give you a word problem to try out on your own. So try these three equations out on your own. Solve for x and try this word problem out on your own. I uh, will go over the solution in the next video, but like I said in the previous video, I want you to try your best and do these on your own first. Even if you make mistakes or you're not so sure, um, struggle with them for a while and use any strategies that you might need to help you.